Hey, YouTubers, this is Sergeant Meyer signing in. Um, first of all, I have to apologize for you. Last video, I didn't add that I'm going to add, be adding four categories, not three. The last one was descriptions. So, sorry, heads up. Just let you know. Okay, this is my first book review, so I'm doing one I know well, but I don't think it's that well known. The, I'm, the book I'm doing, its name is Tunnels. It is by Roderick Gordon and, no, sorry, William Gordon, no, wait, sorry, I'm an idiot. It is by Roderick Gordon and Brian Williams. Anyway, the main characters of this book are Will Burroughs, Chester Rawls, and Will's sister, Rebecca Burroughs, as well as Dr. Burroughs, his father. Now, Will's sister's a little funky, so you might want to check out the book just to see that. But uh, the basic summary of the book is as follows. It, the book opens with Will and his father on a dig. Uh, they are digging into a abandoned subway station so they can find some stuff for his dad's museum. Anyway, a couple days later, his dad gets a person in his museum who brings him odd stuff sometimes. And this time it's a weird green orb that somehow seems to brighten the darker its surroundings get. But the lighter its surroundings get, it goes darker until in sunlight it's completely pitch black. Uh, after his dad find, um, comes into possession of this orb, he sends it off to university but is taken. He goes missing. And Will tries to find out why. So him, along with his very large friend, Chester Rawls, they find out his dad had been digging in the basement. And surprisingly, his dig was a big seeker because his dad usually shared everything with him. So it was hidden behind a bookshelf down there with very nice hinges. So, it was, and they found out it was filled in, but not by rocks or dirt from their area. So, they decide to re-excavate. A couple days before they're done, and they encounter two people that follow them around and try to snatch them, presumably. Um, they don't know who these guys are, they don't know what they want, but... They don't connect it to the tunnel. So they finally finish excavating the tunnel and they decided to go down it to try to find Will's father. So they find an elevator system. They go down the elevator and they come out in the colony. The colony is an uh, underground city. And at first it appears abandoned until they go into one of the houses, whereupon they find someone who chases them out right into the arms of a police officer, and they're thrown in jail for various crimes. And a surprising twist is that Will has his real name named Seth, and he's actually a citizen down there whose mother got him out when he was a baby, because underground is not that good of a place to live. And um, it, they take him in while it takes a recovery him to recover, because while they are in prison, they were darklit. Being darklit is horrible, and you can't remember what you said, only that you're being bombarded by questions, and that it makes you extremely sick. So, when he gets to their house, Will, he meets his Uncle Tam, who is a fairly large rebel. And he basically finds out that his dad has been sent to the deeps, which are the darkest, nastiest places they find to live. And he resolves to escape with Chester before they can before Chester is thrown into the deeps as well. And Cal mm, Cal is a little brother down there. He decides he wants to go up topside as well. So they get this plan to go topside and they get Chester out of jail, and they're almost there, but only Will and Cal make it as Chester is once again captured. So they get up topside, and 
and Will um, decides that he cannot live with himself leaving Chester down there, so they decide to go back. And Cal agrees because he hates outside. Too much pollution, too much cold. It was winter time, but even then, it's super cold for them. This underground's hot woman. So, they go back down, but they are caught going back down by the stikes. At which point, basically, the end of the book comes. Although there's some more after that, I'm not going to reveal the ending to you. Cliffhanger for you to read. Now, on to my rating system. As you know, there's star system 1 through 10. So, the first one, overall plot. I gave that a 9. For one reason alone, and you might call me stingy, but hey, it's here. The plot got lost a star because he did not explain how people could live underground without the sun for generations. They would all die off. So, I lost a star for that. Character composition, I gave him a 7 because he only showed the darker sides of the characters and more obsessiveness. They didn't show usually the just normal or even good stuff. How well you're able to stall, how well you're able to follow the story, give that a 10. It's just really good, well, nice written. You don't have any jumps between stuff. And then descriptions. Descriptions are descriptions of the characters themselves, how they look, or how a place looks. How well you can picture something in your mind because of what they've told you about it. And I had to give that a 9 because some places they don't tell you anything at all. Things to look for in this book, this is something I'm throwing in for a few of them, is Tam's Last Stand, that is an excellent part of the book, that I would say, and Bartleby's behavior. Bartleby is a hunter, which is a dog-sized hairless cat, and he is very amusing. And I think that's about it. This is a good book for... Uh, teens and young adults. Oh, and it's very dark, not a very light-hearted book. No pun intended, I know it's underground. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hi, YouTube. This is RJ Meyer, signing out.